Hello and welcome back to another video. So in the previous episode I showed you the settings that I use when I create a new project and um, so when you upload the video to YouTube you don't get any black lines across the top and bottom and the sides. Now in this video I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that you can do to organize your footage inside of Premiere Pro, the different ways to import uh, and all that sort of stuff. So let's head on over to Premiere Pro. So now we're over in Premiere Pro, we need to basically import some footage. So there's a couple of ways you can import, is you can right click and go to import like that, which brings up the, uh, the Explorer window and you can basically browse to a bit of footage. So I'm just going to grab uh, this footage here and then click on open. So as you can see that's imported just one file um, by itself. Now if you wanted to import multiple files, but again we could right click go to import and this time we could click on number one, two and four and click on open and that adds multiple ones in. Um, but if we wanted to get a bit more organized with it all, what we could actually do is we could select all of these and just remove them. So the other way of importing it in a bit more organized fashion, what we can actually do is uh, actually import a whole folder all in one go. So I've got a folder over here and I've got a folder called fraps which is what I use to record my gameplay. Now all we have to do to import all four of these images in one go is to actually click on the folder, drag it over to the project panel and let go. And then that's now imported that folder with the name with all four clips on the inside of it. So we can come in here and we can change the name to gameplay like that. So it's a bit more descriptive uh, and it's just a little bit more organized. Now if you've already got clips already inside of the project, so if I just add in two of these like that. So let's just say you want to put these into a folder without having to delete them and then import them in via a folder. So if you come down to this icon here that's called new bin, that basically just creates a folder and we'll just call this one, it doesn't have to call it whatever you like and then select both of these and then if you just drag over the top and let go and that's now imported them in um, into the folder. So if you really wanted to, we don't have to just import video clips, we can also import images. So I'm just going to do the same sort of technique, you can right click and go to import and find the image, but I like to just drag mine in from the other window and let go. And as you can see, here is the JPEG, so it's not just video files, you've also got JPEGs to uh, import as well. And you can also pull these down to the timeline, and if I just put it at the very start, as you can see that's just the image for the start of my videos. And again, you can actually extend the length of it by basically going to the very, the very edge of it here and just dragging it out. So that was just a quick video on importing footage and organizing it a little bit more so it's easier to edit later on. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.